Welcome to the release commentary of Regoth version 0.2, an open source re-implementation of the engine used by the Gothic games. First of all, I wanted to inform you that even if you don't have the games installed, you can still check out the current state of the project yourself. There is now a browser version which lets you play the official English demo of the game. Just be sure to use the modern version of Firefox or Chrome when trying it. Now, in this release, we finally get a proper user interface. This includes the almost iconic health and mana bars at the bottom, but there is also much more than that. The original fonts of the game can now be read and displayed. These fonts are just usual textures which define the locations of the different symbols. Because they do a straight mapping from bytes to symbols, we can have at most 256 characters. In Regoth, however, we can make use of true type fonts so we can get the full Unicode char set at higher resolutions. This isn't implemented yet though. On a different side of UI related code, I began working on the scripted menuing system. These get fed by special script files like this one. Usually they include a background picture and a list of items to be placed on top of the menu, which include simple texts, sliders or input fields. Next up, we now have the possibility to knock out or kill people. For now, it only works using the console, but it allows us to complete many quests which were impossible before. If you knock someone out, you also get the chance to loot their body. For example, I can easily grab Nex's amulet here to complete the regarding quest. Another good example of that is the quest about gathering respect in the old camp by defeating Kirgo in the arena. Diego will also pick up the information that we successfully beaten him, which allows us to further progress in the story. In fact, you can now almost complete the first chapter using some console commands. But what actually happens inside the engine when you knock someone out? When you issue the command, the NPC is brought into a special state. Usually such states execute an entry script function, proceed to execute another function every frame while the state is active, and when the state changes, an exit function is called. The unconsciousness state is a bit special though. For some states, they were alone to execute non-script code in the looping phase. However, only the unconsciousness state made it into the game like that. There were other unused values for an answer, fadeaway and fuller state, which are now implemented differently or were completely dropped. Another new feature I have already teased in the UI section is the ability to create and load safe games. The menus you saw earlier are actually fully functional, with the only exception being that you can't enter your own names for the slots yet. Random book titles are currently used instead. Now that I have created a safe game, let's take a look at what actually happens behind the scenes. Inside Regoth, all important classes are written into JSON objects. This includes all viable script values and every object in the level. Depending on what slot you save in, a directory is created in the new user data folder. These are simple text files and can easily be viewed or modified. There's nothing stopping me from changing the name of my save game, or even giving my character more items. I could even move every object in the game to a different place if I wanted, or transform people into monsters. Let me show you how that would work. First of all, we have to open this file, which contains the name of our save game. There we simply change it. Next we have to open the actual save data for the current world and find our character. This is our current inventory. To give us some more items, we can just throw the item code and the quantity in there. While we are here, 
Let's also bump our stats a bit. I'll also just quickly change the value of Diego's script instance. Loading the save now reveals our changes. Our friend looks different now, we have a ton of meat bugs and nice stats. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.